Hi, I wanted to touch base on this topic uh, Wi-Fi in 2.4 gigahertz. I recently heard a excellent uh, discussion uh, on the enterprise side of things. I have referred to that uh, in the notes section. And I thought I'll add a few things uh, from the other big part of the Wi-Fi business, which is the home and consumer business. Okay. And my opinion, it, it's nowhere near dead as uh, some people pronounced several years back. My name is Srikant and I'm with NanoCell Networks. So as we all know, Wi-Fi is a tremendous success story. It has spanned a variety of devices, right? And it has spanned a variety of applications, and it's it's such an amazing thing as to how quickly people all over the world have adopted Wi-Fi. This is uh, not to say anything bad about say cellular, 4G, 5G, etc. We just want to talk about Wi-Fi in its own right. Okay. I think one of the very important facts for Wi-Fi getting into so many devices and cutting across various product line has been, especially for the lower end, the affordability. Okay, so while you have high end laptops and tablets and phones, remember that there's a vast majority of the world, even more important in these COVID times, who have to depend on devices which are affordable. I, living in India, I know how many students cannot afford the high end devices or phones. So, affordability and connectivity have to go together. And that's where I think 2.4 gigahertz comes in. Why? Because having just a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi can reduce cost of devices. Okay. This is, you know, people can tell us from data that there are low end manufacturers with just 2.4 gig solutions who can lower the cost of the end user devices. Okay. And remember, this is extremely important for penetration into the segment, which is crucially dependent these days on such devices. Okay. And also to remember that in many of these settings, which I talked about, there is a lot of concrete in the home. And so when you have multiple sessions going on in the house, somebody has to be far away. Not everybody can afford a multi AP system that is the vogue of, you know, slightly higher end implementations. A lot of places in the world today still depend on just a simple 2.4 gigahertz AP and 2.4 connected devices. This is the story of billions we are talking about. Okay. And I know it for a fact living in an environment where this is happening on a day to day basis. Okay. So this is something that I want to set right that in the home or consumer segment 2.4 is crucial as ever. Yes, it might not get us the best performance that we wish, but remember that in many cases, this is almost like a, a lifeline for people who want connectivity to pursue their education, job, entertainment, etc. What's the other thing? The other thing is IoT. People have a lot of notions about IoT and as soon as we mention IoT, they think about LoRa, they think about BLE, they think about Zigbee. Yes, I think all of them have a place, but Wi-Fi has an important place in many IoT segments simply because in many homes and offices, of course, but I'm focusing more on the residential segment, is the AP is now becoming a reality. It's almost like a plug point equivalent. And remember in places where there are concrete walls and uh, remember affordability is a concern. Having just a 2.4 device is as we have justified for even for data access. But now comes IoT access where you're getting into you know, all kinds of appliances, right? Again, I've just shown some big ticket appliances, but remember there are other appliances also there, including coffee makers, alarm clocks, you know, everything and anything, right? Some of them could also have energy saving potential. So that could be part of even, uh, you know, from the affordability perspective. The key is that these are not generally consuming a lot of data, okay? And these, uh, you know, just need to have the Wi-Fi for certain, you can say, connectivity for remote control or some data sharing, which is not like watching a YouTube streaming on your laptop. So for many IoT devices where 
battery or power is 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 okay where we can recharge the size of the battery is big enough and where you need the other end to go to the internet ap is available this becomes very very handy remember all these technologies have challenges for getting into the internet okay think about ble we don't have an equivalent of a ble access point okay so 2.4 comes in very handy here because of the coverage because of the cost and basically this application need not have 5 gigahertz remember the whole 802.11 community tried going sub 1 gigahertz with wi-fi halo but remember this is still in a work in progress so hopefully i've given you at least from the home segment couple of reasons lots of places where 2.4 devices and access points are still handy and then the whole iot world and remember there's a proliferation of chipset vendors who are specializing in iot use case express if uh, silicon labs many of these people are specializing and many more and they are coming and putting out chipsets which are going to be low cost so that we can put it on all kinds of things okay so i hope i have added a perspective which helps us justify why 2.4 is still going to be relevant and important so for more information please take a look at our website we also offer courses through wi-fi now academy thank you